The new version of Movavi Video Suite 22 is already available together with the new Movavi Video Editor Plus 22. And today we'll go through all the new features and most importantly, how it will help you improve your video editing process. Hi, my name is Arthur, this is the Movavi Vlog and I know what it's like when you're just starting out. Immerse into video editing, there are a lot of tools in front of your eyes, a bunch of different programs, you want to go deep into everything, understand how it works, figure it out, but as a rule, exploring new video creation apps can often be challenging for beginners. It could take a lot of time just to get to know all the tools and features. This is why developers of Movavi Suite 22 made everything simple and clear. Many of the features and presets in Movavi videos suite are designed to help users save time creating their videos. Learning to use it doesn't take long. And now we'll clearly see how it all works in practice using the example of one YouTube video. This is a video about how to make cool transitions using a camera stabilizer. I already have all the footage, here's the backstage and the music and a render folder, a folder with sound effects, a talking head folder and also a folder with transitions, meaning footage for creating these transitions. So all is said, we're ready to edit and now open up the mobile video suite. 2022. The new light version opens in front of us and what's cool, Video Suite 22 now has dark and light themes so users can choose the mode that is the most comfortable for them to work in. Just go to the lower left corner where you can switch and turn dark version into the light one or white one, you name it. And when opened, the favorite section immediately appears. These are the programs that you have added here. You can either delete them or add even more. For example, if you click on this Add Feature button, then you can open the video section, audio section, photo or data section here. By the way, everyone who uses the mobile companion app will be happy to find that transferring files from smartphone to computer is now even easier. Here with the help of the mobile companion. And if the program is in a solid rectangle, it means that it has been added, so it can be removed or added. Let me add, well, for example, split video, click OK and the split video appears in the favorite section. Or if it's more convenient for you, you can switch by the top tabs of video, audio, photo, everything is also available here. And also a special recommendation system is built in here. Why is that cool? When you open the suite for the first time, you will have a small survey so that the suite understands what you are doing in general and what you plan to do. And based on this data, the suite will make recommendations for you. That means recommended programs, recommended effects, recommended online courses that may be useful to you, and so on. The suite adapts very flexibly to each individual user and it is very convenient. To make the onboarding process even faster, the developers have gamified the learning process. Everyone can get a free effects pack if they explore the program toolkit step by step. Very cool. Also on the left we have the My Files section where all the files that you have used are located. You can also add new files here to keep everything in one place. Very nice. Below we have the Store section. Here we have Programs, Sets and Effects and also an additional Community section. So Mobile Video Suite 22 includes Mobile Video Editor Plus screen recorder and video converter premium, which means that you'll get upgrades to each program along with all the updates and new features over the next 12 months if you subscribe. You know how it usually happens, you download several programs to your computer and jump from one program to another depending on the process and moreover, it is often necessary to close one program in order to work in another. Switching between multiple standalone programs takes time and interferes with the creative process. Movavi Video Suite is a user-friendly ecosystem where many video tools are collected and integrated together. I mean, you can literally make videos from scratch right in one place. You first do the file conversion, then record your screen. All this is quickly transferred to Video Editor Plus, apply some effects, render, and you are done. And it's all in one ecosystem. You don't need to close anything or restart. Exclusively for all Movavi Vlog subscribers, we're offering a 30% discount on a one-year personal plan of Movavi Video Suite 22 and a special bonus. Free access to selected items in Movavi Effects Store. You will get a new cool effects pack every three months over the next year. All you need to do to get both the discount and bonus is click on the link in the description or pinned comment. And if you only want to get one of the apps included in Movavi Video Suite 22, either Video Editor Plus, Screen Recorder or Video Converter Premium, feel free to scroll down and look for special coupons for a 30% discount on each item as well as some special 
special bonuses. And right now we'll see in practice how it all works. And look what the deal is. I have a folder with transitions. They are shot in full HD. You can just see it here. It's 1080 pixels. And I want to make 4K out of it. I'm not satisfied with it. I want it to look decent without visually noticeable loss of quality. What are my options? Let's open the converter, click launch, open the folder with transitions and literally drag them over here. We select a shot, for example, this one, click on the settings button and select 3840 by 2160, that is 4K, and click OK. This way it will just take this full HD video and stretch it to 4K, but in this case, we lose pixels. I'm not interested in losing pixels, so we go back to settings, change back to full HD, click OK and find a tool called AI Upscale. Artificial intelligence will turn your low-res video into a high-res video. That is, if, for example, I have 4K, it turns it into 8K, or if it goes full HD, we click improve and it turns full HD into 4K. What it does, it completes the missing pixels and the picture looks decent. Yes, we are warned here that AI upscaling significantly increases the conversion version time, but this is what I need, so it doesn't make any difference, click apply. You can also go to the edit section and make some changes with a particular shot before editing, if you want. The crop tool has now become even more simple and clear. You can literally choose the aspect ratio that you need, you can stretch this shot actually like this, you can keep proportions or not, and you can also easily and quickly rotate the video. There is a button apply to all files so that you don't waste time on the same processing for the rest of the files. And the the same button is in the quality section means that when you have configured the quality as you need, click apply quality settings to all files. Also developers have made small changes and improvements for the conversion to become even faster and when we are ready to convert, we choose a location. It can either go to the source folder or to the folder that you assign. I want it to go to the source folder and just click convert. I added the converted files to the convert folder which will add to the video editor a little later, so we open the video suite again. And and click the new project button in the edit video section. This will open the video editor plus 22 and here in the import section we can either click add files or add folder or we can literally drag all the files into this window. I will open the convert folder, select all the files and drag them right here. I will also drag here the music, sound effects and all the shots where I talk to the camera. And please pay attention that I am currently working on an average computer. This is the MSI GP65, maybe a little above average but definitely not one of the most powerful computers on the market and everything works quite smoothly in the video suite. Professional software is expensive and can be slow to run on everyday computers. Suite on the contrary can easily work on everyday computer. Let's start transferring the footage to the timeline. I'll start with talking headshots. For example, we take this shot, drag it to the timeline and start editing. For example, we cut it like this or we can move forward, press Ctrl B and then delete. This year, the developers have added a whole set of new audio editing tools and effects to the video creation module. First improvement is the sound visualizer, which will help you control the final volume levels in your video. It's located here. If we turn on the video, we'll see how loud or how quiet our sound is. The next improvement is related to sound processing. Let's separate the audio from the video and go to the old tools section. Let's expand the audio editing section and the first step is the sound autocorrect. Let's click on it and here is the enhanced voice recording, noisy place or studio recording. With the enhanced voice recording your voice gets better, the dynamic range increases and noisy place is if you were shooting in some noisy place where the microphone itself produced a constant noise, then select it and the sound will become cleaner. Then the studio recording also adds a certain style to the sound as if it was recorded in a studio. Right after you apply an effect you can either turn it on or off and also adjust either the equalizer or the noise removal or the compressor. In other words, even automatic improvements can be slightly adjusted. Let's delete it for now and if you need more manual settings, then open the noise gate or compressor section. Here you can adjust the threshold, let's listen to it. You can change the threshold, you can change the range, let's increase the range, you can increase the attack and also release. We need more collaborations like this. When you are good with these settings, just click apply. And there is also the compressor which also has threshold, ratio, attack, release, output gain and blend. For example, you somehow stylize the sound, increase this, increase that too, and then you can play around with the blend to make either a richer effect 
or a less saturated one. In general, I suggest you to use compressors constantly when you edit similar videos where someone talks to the camera because it makes the voice much better. And we also have some new audio effects, for example, overload. We need more. It is possible for some accents, for some memes, maybe. There's also oscillation. We need more collaborations like this. And perhaps my favorite one is vibrato. We need more collaborations like this. The audio effects are now adjustable. You can apply them by drag and drop. You can also adjust the intensity and even combine them. Just grab it, drag it to the clip, and you have the effect. That is literally like video filters. And I forgot to do something. I forgot to record the screen. It's very important for this video. So we open the video suite again and click launch in the record computer screen section. And a small window will appear on the right side or wherever you want it to be, you can easily drag it to any side of your screen. You can also collapse it so that it doesn't get in the way and we have three icons in front of us. The first is the photo camera, the video camera and the microphone. The first stands for screenshot, the second screen recording and finally sound recording. The screen recording module now works better with high resolution monitors and the latest operating systems. And new functions have appeared here. I need to record the screen. I will click on this camera, click on the spacebar to record the entire screen. And here we can turn on or off several parameters. The first is the recording of system sounds. I don't need it now. We can turn on the microphone, select the microphone you need if you have some external connected, and you can also turn on the webcam. With the latest version of the app, you can resize and relocate the webcam on the capture area. To do this, just drag and drop the webcam preview to the designed corner, hover over it, and select the preferred for its size. It's so simple and convenient. Now you can choose the shape of the webcam preview, circle or rectangle, as you like more. I don't need a webcam right now, so I'll turn it off and let's click on record. The countdown will start 3, 2, 1, and now we can see this small visualizer that shows that I'm saying something right now. If I don't talk, it doesn't show anything. In this way, you can easily check whether the sound is being recorded or not. Because situations when you record a video and then you find out that you didn't have the sound are quite common. And now you can draw on the video while recording. Just click on this pencil, choose a color and draw what you need. Then we click on the pencil again and the circle disappears. And when you want to finish recording the screen, just click on this square or <laughs> stop button and you can either export it or open it up immediately in the video editor. This is what I told you about before. So let's open the video editor plus and now we have this video on the timeline here. And when we have finished, our video editing, click on the export button, select the format commonly now is mp4 h.264. You can click advanced, here we can see the video codec h.264, select the bitrate, let's set it to 25,000 and audio to 48,000, click OK, give it a name and render. Check out these videos to learn more about content creation and see you in the next video.